To build in Second Life, move to a location where you have permission to build, right click the ground, and then click Build. The Build menu has opened and the cursor has turned to a magic wand. Come to the menu and choose the shape that you want and click it. I'm going to click the cube and then come to the ground and click the ground and you'll see that the shape appears. You can click and drag the shape by moving the arrows. And you'll see a grid for the island appears around the shape. There are several ways you can change the shape. I am going to hold shift and control down together on the keyboard and you see the little boxes around the side. If I click and drag a box, I can grow the shape in those dimensions. I might want to move the shape up or down. You can see it can go below the ground as well. That is one way you can change the size. A more precise way to change the size is to click the object tab towards the middle of the menu and then either type in the new sizes in meters or click them in interactively. You can always adjust the location too to see what's happening. While the shape is still selected, that's when I see these arrows around it, I can click the texture button and change the way it looks by clicking texture and either locating a new texture among those I have or looking in my library for textures or I could simply click the texture icon and then click blank to remove the texture and then click OK. Another thing you may often want to do is change the color and I click that button and now I have options with color. After you've found the color you want, you click OK. And then when you're finished at this point, you can click the ground. As you work, you may want to rotate the shape. And if you hold Control on the keyboard, you can click and drag the shape in different directions. And if you pull it out while you're drawing, you can actually lock it to the different locations and directions on the island. Clicking the ground takes away the editing arrows. You may then choose to click X to close the menu. Another important thing to do is to give any object a name. So I need to open up the object again, so I right click on it. I click back to edit and I look for the general tab over here under general. I click that and I type in the name for the object. Type in a useful name because you'll need that if you want to find this later. Once you've named an object you can close the menu and now you right click again and this time slide down to the option of take or take copy. If you choose take copy the object still stays there but a copy is put into your inventory. If you right click it again and click take the object is removed and put into your inventory. Please return for our other tutorials on building.